Clem, you look like the type of guy who likes gambling. Would you like to gamble? Clem! No. No. Um, okay. I'll, I'll go play with my dice by myself then. All right. So with Komai being the 50th Warframe that is unique to the game, I decided I'll finally cover her now that I have covered the Incarnon weapons, so I'll cover her now because she is an early game frame. So I'll cover her stats, her abilities, what they're special with, specifically with her dice mechanic, which I would consider to be her passive, being a gambling addiction. <laughs> and then I'll cover the build I made for her, we'll test her in still path, and I'll give you my final thoughts on Komai. So let's cover her in depth, shall we? So let's cover her stats. Her stats are 444 health at max, 222 shields at max, 444 armor, and 222 energy. What do her abilities do? How do they get affected? When it comes to Komai, her passive first, she gets every 60 seconds. Her weapon's the ability to inflict a random status effect for 60 seconds. So every minute you'll get a new status. And for that minute, that status will be applied. Next up will be her one. Her one is uh, Kumihimo. She'll weave threads of destiny that can be laid out in a room. And when enemies touch them, it applies a random status effect. When you roll your dice, if you get triple sixes, you'll flick one of every primary and secondary status effect to the enemies in there. Her next ability is Omikuji. Omikuji will give you random decrees with a chance if you hit triple sixes to get a random decree without having to do a challenge for them. Each one takes a challenge and as you complete more and more decrees, you will have an increase in time. The highest and at the cap will be 150 seconds per cooldown once you've done um, eight, eight decrees and then that will happen. Next up is Omamori. Omamori is similar to, in my opinion, Baruch's ability, where he'll be able to uh, block attacks. But with Omamori, you'll surround yourself with charms, which will give each a chance to heal you instead of damage you whenever an enemy attacks you. When you roll triple sixes, it will grant you invulnerability, which is very powerful and very nice. Finally, her ultimate is Bunraku. Bunraku is a very powerful ability because when you cast it, you will be able to lift enemies up into the air with a 170 degree cone angle. But when you roll triple sixes, it will cause even more status effects that are already um, that are already applied from the original but it will also hit all enemies around you in a 360 degree, which is very powerful. So now that we understand how her abilities work, let's see how I built her. So real quick, so I don't want to take up too much of your time because you may be enjoying seeing the review. If you guys want to see more content like this and do enjoy my stuff, make sure to hit that like button and do subscribe and turn on that bell for post notifications. So I always get notified whenever I post another video because I do enjoy making these for y'all. I hope the videos have been nice for y'all. I see a lot of you and have been watching them and I hope to see more people come around and stay. So let's continue on with the video. So now that we covered our abilities and passive work, how did I build her? Well, I built her to be a type of gunslinger to help support my weapons. But if you wanted to, you could build her with growing power so you could do more of your just abilities. So we have blind rage for the damage. We have Archon continuity and Archon stretch because since she applies all base elements and uh, secondary elements, that includes the uh, using Archon stretch, stretch stretch will be nice so we can get ability energy over time. Archon continuity is useful because we apply toxins, so it also apply corrosive. We have adaptation due to her high armor being 444 and our health being 444 so we can take a couple hits not many but we can take a couple hits i'm rolling intensify for the for the damage auger reach for more ability range the same thing with stretch ball got uh, multi augmented so we have more ability strength and then arcane energize to help with our energy issue because to me she is a ability spamming frame so on top of that you could run like i am a violet archon shard and a tau forged amber archon shard because to me her abilities cast out slow so let's see how she works in uh the simulacrum then we'll test her in still path when it comes to using her first, first ability, Kumihimo, when we press one or whatever you have bound to, when enemies move through them, as you'll see, they apply a random status effect to them, hence off the colors. Once you hit a uh, triple six, you apply one of every uh, elemental, which will be all the four base ones, and then all the mixtures will apply to them. As you see, some of them are being afflicted with radiation. And you can continue to spam this in. Her next ability is Omikuji, which is when we press two, we will get a random requirement to get our decrease. So when we kill 32 enemies that are within 32 meters, it will pick a random decrease from the entire list that is provided in Duviri and it will give it to you. You have a chance of getting uh, the same one again. And if you hit triple sixes, you have the chance to just get one for free. So her next ability is Omomori. Omomori will surround you with Omomori charms, which give you a 50% chance to block an attack. And instead of taking the damage, you would instead be healed. So if I unpause their AI and run up to them with an active, you'll see right around here, you'll see an Omomori charm get eaten and I will heal instead of take damage. Once again, it is a 50% chance with no way to increase it, so don't rely on it too heavily to keep you alive, but it can save you in a pinch. Finally, Komai's last ability is Bunraku. Bunraku, whenever you cast it, will inflict the enemies with a puncture effect, but also will randomly uh, apply a physical and elemental damage type given, so impact slash more puncture the primary elements or secondary elements. So when I cast it, 
you'll see some of them have gotten things like 11 slash procs, toxin and corrosives. This guy's got magnetic and blast. This guy's just got cold and shock. So it just picks through a random amount. And when you hit triple sixes, it will apply um, the status effects around you, but in a 360 degree. So as you see, they can't attack me. And if I cast it again, the effects will reapply again. It's very powerful. Sadly, when you cast your four, don't expect your one to affect them as much because they have to run through your one. Let's go test her in still path now. All right, and here we are in still path. Sadly, at the start, I can only use my one, but as you'll watch as I just kind of move back, you'll see a lot of them get applied, but thanks to our pound, he applies even more status effects. But when they walk through them, you'll see more and more status effects get applied thanks to her one. Omi, uh, Omikuji's enemies afflicted with a shock status effect. So for that one to apply, obviously, well, need them to be affected by shock. Thankfully, almost all of her abilities that you use for damage will do that. I can just look forward, press four, and well, there you go. Instantly done. And the entire pathway has now been well sealed off. Let me use my one, not one, my three. Now I have the ability to heal if I get hurt. Her whole kit to me is just a very, very nice way. Oh, and there we go. There's the uh, free decree if you get triple sixes. To me, her whole kit is very good for a basic Warframe that almost anybody could get at the start. Since she was uh, meant to be kind of seen as a early game Warframe, especially since she crafts so easily and early. It's like one day for her to be uh, crafted. And the range on her four is quite nice. As you saw, I was able to get everybody in this room with relative ease. That's why to me, she's like a zoner with a full advantage in uh, crowd control. Oh, that's nice. Argon Crystal Pack. She's also really good at like funneling enemies. If you see them come down and run towards you, just throw your one, use your four, stuff like that. How does she uh, work well against Acolytes? Because you see the enemies, well, I'm not dead yet, and they have issues trying to kill me. So let's see what happens when an Acolyte spawns. All right, and the Acolyte spawns. Something I forgot to mention too, when doing your decrees, you have a chance, you see on the far left, to get a negative effect. So my shield recharge is very delayed and hard to deal with due to my, well, negative effect, but I think it's bugged because every time I'm getting shot now, I kind of just don't take any damage, so it might be bugged. So the way her abilities work is as the enemy runs through them, as you see, the Acolyte is running through all the, uh, the the threads and they are thankfully getting applied with their status effects. But sadly, your four cannot affect her and suddenly all of my weapons don't work, which is quite interesting. So I'm going to kill this Acolyte without my weapon. But the Acolyte is, well, quite easy to deal with. And as you see, I try to use my weapons and they're kind of just not working and I don't know why. So I'm going to head back to my orbiter and I'll give my final thoughts on. Oh, there we go. Now they're working on Komai. So what do I think of Komei? Komei is a very strong and useful Warframe. I now see why she is considered to be a early game Warframe based off what the devs had said. She's quick to make, easy to make because her event's not that hard. She only takes a day so she can be made basically in that one day you get her. Her parts drop from the event. She's fun to mod. She has good she has good damage, good con uh, crowd control, good C, uh, I almost said CC again, uh, good zoning capabilities. She's overall very powerful and they also get introduced to decrees, which will then lead into Duviri and they give them a free um, in invulnerability with quotation marks. It gives them a way to live longer in their missions. So I feel like she could easily withstand throughout the entire normal star chart and all the way through still path if you build her accordingly as you progress. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe and turn on that bell for post notifications. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.